Hey Leo people. So I got a message. Um, you're deeming someone incapable of being what you need. It may be hot and attractive and chemistry, probably even love, but it's not enough. You've worked with this person as long as you could. And somebody don't believe fat meat get greasy, okay? Well, you about to show them. You about to be the one to show them. Somebody got it twisted, and they're about to be straightened out. Um, I got the pants. Uh, the pants that they're trying to wear are too big for the type of walk that they walk. Then I got the song 3LW, No More. And he always, she was like, no more, baby, I'm going to do you right. So when, when a motherfucker say, baby, I'm going to do you right, you ain't listening no more. Whatever, okay? Uh, I just feel like you took a minute to wrap your head around this because you and this person was supposed to be close. But they act more like a stranger. No longer worth the energy over it. And then I got the disappearing act. I'm going to show you better than I tell you. And then I heard ghost. Power. Power of being a ghost. Poof. Disappearing into thin air. So you about to go straight ghost on the motherfucker because they think you think they think shit's sweet. So you about to show them a little something, something about you. Sometimes you got to do that to people because they just don't understand. You be talking and talking and talking. The motherfucker be listening, acting like they comprehend and acting like they understand. And they going to fix it. And the next thing you know, we back at square one. Mm-mm. Bye bye. <laughs> All right. We got universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and concise messages for the Leo people. What's the message for Leo? Only energy from. I'm sorry. Only energy of higher white light, higher frequency, and high vibrations are welcome here, spirit. No energy of low frequency, low vibration, or negativity is welcome. I ask that you rebuke it in the name of your spirit. Amen. So what we got for Lee? People. Right. Friendship, recogni recognition, and moving forward. Contemplation, asking for help. See, that's what I was saying in the meditation. You and this person were supposed to be close. That's where the friendship energy come in. But then you recognize, damn, you ain't acting like a friend. So then you begin to move forward. But the fact that it was supposed to be a friend and y'all supposed to be tight, I feel like you contemplated before moving forward. Okay, so what do we got for Leo people? Okay. Magic, gratitude, and hope. Somebody's hoping for a miracle. Innocence, decisions, trust, dreaming. It's a it seems lighthearted to me, but not it's like a deep light heart. Innocence is like fresh, new, pure, baby like decisions, trust, dreaming. Okay, so let's see. Tell me about innocent spirit. Tell me about innocence. So this is something new, something fresh, something different. But I do feel like there's support. It's some type of faraway um journey, new horizon, something that you have to be encouraged to get done and taking a new route. Decisions. Rejuvenating rain. Miracles. Trust. Passion and pleasure. And stepping into your power. Find the sanctuary. Open up to your spiritual soul. Spirit could be coming to you in your dreams about something. Telling you protected, that you need to take a risk and that you need to focus. That you are protected. Your infinite abundance is protected, but you needed some type of viewpoint from above. Okay, you could have got it in a meditation. 
Something about decisions. Privilege, lady, health, bad health, change. Okay, so we start here with innocence. This is fresh energy coming in. Some type of new, new, new horizons, new places. Some place, something that you're not used to, but it required you to do have courage so that you can take action on it. And I do feel like you're supported. It's about innocence. This is fresh energy, childlike energy. Judgment. So it could be that you need to make a decision here to start over. Far away places to embark upon some type of journey here that's fresh, that's new. I feel like it'll bring in a lot of balance and healing and growth as well as um, balance. I said that, but it's there again. This could be a queen of uh, wands, could be a um, Leo woman, but it's some type of somewhere you're going or talking about far away places. Yeah, some type of travel. Uh, it, travel, the eight of wands is like movement and it's fast. It's, it's, it's traveling, it's relocating, it's king of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And the tower. Scorpio energy. Sun, the moon, the sun, the eight of pentacles, and the eight of cups. Something is taking courage and you got support. Because something didn't happen here. Something that you're trying to move the fuck away from. But you're going to have to have faith in order to get it done. Because it's not, I do feel like it's, it's, a, it's possibly something that makes you nervous. Something that's scary. Four of Cups. The Hierophant. Taurus Energy. We got Aries. The Nine of Wands. Five of Pentacles. So maybe you're stressed out because you might not have the finances you need to make this move, to make this travel, to make this relocation. But if the, if it's put on your spirit or your intuition to do it, I would do it anyway. Because spirit will provide. Right? And there's some case here where you has some type of expectation or talk about a false person. Somebody's not who they say they are here. Or you could be arguing with somebody or having anxiety and fighting. You can know it could be a heated argument taking place with somebody. It could be a Scorpio because they're not who they say they are. False person. What's all that spirit? You could be arguing with somebody about a family. She just one left. It's like a heated argument taking place and an ending because of the Ten of Cups. It's like a family situation or a choice that somebody made to invest in a family situation. But it could have somebody could have invested, but the, they was they was expecting something different than a false person. Talking about expectations, yeah, this ain't what they was expecting. It could be an argument taking place because a motherfucker. It could be you, Leo. Um, but a motherfucker done invested in some shit thinking that they was getting the Ten of Cups and the whole time it was bullshit. Their expectations was the Ten of Cups, but what they ended up with is a false person so who, who fed them and dangled the Ten of Cups but didn't give it to them. Seven of Swords, now it's a betrayal because I've been giving you my love and motherfuckers upset about that. False person. But why, Spirit? I feel like we're not done. Why is that happening? 
so a motherfucker can hold on to the pine's finances. The, the real, the real is that the, you and this person been done ten of swords, but this person needed you financially. They was lacking, so they wanted to hold on to your money. If they put your four of pentacles and they five of pentacles, now they got nine pentacles. A motherfucker is just lazy or don't want to work or whatever the fuck that is. Decisions. So some type of decisions had to be made here. High priest is something that required you to use your intuition in order to make this decision. Could have been you again, Leo. Because you could see something clearly now. Something needed to be cut off. It was confusing. It was just not, it wasn't given. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. So you could have found out that somebody gave offered their love to somebody. And if that's not the case, you just um, following your intuition and making decisions to do things that are honest and true to you that make you happy and make you feel good and abundant. Rejuvenating rain says so this is healing. This is somebody making a decision to leave shit alone that ain't feeling good and healing. They're just looking for blessings or waiting on their blessings. Page of Cups. Page of Pentacles. And see, yeah, somebody's starting over or doing something different that'll make them feel appreciated, rewarded, recognized. Somebody's. So somebody's current you know with the king of wands king of pentacles coming out here with the hangman to the ace of wands that's a stagnation on the idea or a stagnation the hangman the devil the three of pentacles some type of contract that a person's supposed to be defending up and standing up and defending but the devil got busy here and stagnated this person because whatever happened to him in the past they was too afraid to stop looking at it or so, but they're finally healing and letting it go and starting fresh, putting them burdens down to the past. That's where the Ace of Wands come in because now they're able to move forward. So, somebody's concerned here. Somebody Ace of the concern, but unexpected income. Somebody's concerned that somebody else might get an offer. The Queen of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Somebody's concerned that somebody got back together to, for a reconciliation, for some healing. This is a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a King of Wands concerned that this Queen of Pentacles went back to a husband or something like that. Eight of Pentacles. Five, yep, that's exactly what he's feeling. If it ain't him, it's her. Somebody's concerned that her motherfucker's still looking at the past. They're putting the work in the past still. And then they're not really ready to start nothing new. They're concerned about that. Why? Because the motherfucker's sitting here trying to offer them a pentacle. Well, what the fuck about your past? What about the motherfucker? Yes. This is, that's why I said this is somebody that had to get cut out here. Somebody that might be the emperor, but they wanted to control things here. So they had to be cut out. It could be somebody you dealing with, Leo. Woman. Could be an Aries. Could be an air sign. But this is somebody who had to... They needed a new perspective from non-committal player n not being solid that the chariot i feel like that's just not what you was looking for so you moved past this person you wanted to do something to make you happy somebody is also concerned that you're about to be receiving an offer from somebody else and that you won't be single hmm Somebody's afraid that are concerned that they would, the person's going their decisions put them in a position to have the person they care about snatched up. Tell me about trust. Now they're trying to trust the process, be positive so that they can manifest the Empress back. Because this person it couldn't see clearly or something. They was trapped by fear, but they walking away from it. They're balancing, okay? Yeah, because passion and pleasure. 
somebody could have been doing having too much passion and passion and pleasure and now they're deciding to step into their power somebody could have been trapped or imprisoned here when it comes to something new passion pleasure stepping in power Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. It could be a Scorpio, too. Something, Some type of stagnation that somebody couldn't see is coming to an end in order for them to invest, in order for them to move, relocate, or move towards something. Something that's going to be victorious. The devil. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. Somebody's apologetic for their toxic ways and they're slow to take action. It's, tell me about this uh, imprisonment. Come on, see, somebody took a long time. Somebody was in a spiritual jail here. Because you, now you, somebody had to drop, put the burdens down of being abandoned. Possibly by this air sign. And that put them under, uh, that put them under imprisonment that could be a spiritual jail yeah now they had a tower during that moment some type of cycles complete and then this is what they're looking at a two of cups here the seven of swords somebody received justice for competing and being deceptive when it came to this empress i mean this emperor putting the work in to get to this empress chariot the queen of pentacles see somebody was dealing with this queen of pentacles tell me about the queen of pentacles ten of ten of ten of cups and then the sun card so somebody was able to be seen clearly here Somebody got proof of what their intuition told them about some past person. That's sitting here broke, needing to hold on to you for finances. So they was trying to alter the destiny of the Empress so that they could hold on to money or whatever the fuck that's about. Dreaming. Tell me about dreaming, spirit. Somebody's dreaming about this passion in New Beginning. Dreaming about justice dreaming about healing dreaming about honesty could be the king of cups pisces cancer scorpio got queen of swords man you may have to see distant horizons is in the reverse so so there's no movement something's blocked um it's blocked to fear-based shit it's, it's open for faith and to be victorious but it's not open for fear Somebody's going to have to make a judgment call to the King of Pentacles. Five of Cups, he's going to make a judgment. Oh, okay. So somebody could have elevated here from their decision to focus on the past to getting a new perspective and making their decision to just have faith, to just take the risk, to just trust in spirit and to just stay focused and keep, hold the course. Capricorn towards Virgo. This is about somebody getting that cup to destiny. This is about somebody getting to the lovers and getting some type of reconciliation popping or something new started, something innocent, something fresh after being confused by a muggle is what I heard. After somebody trying to hold on to them for financial gain and them trying to heal from that, now they try to reconcile because it was a clear illusion here that's been shattered. Now a person got the facts here. Now they got to stay the course. And the course is the twin flame. Somebody about to come offer a pentacle or go offer a pentacle. A Virgo energy. This is a lesson that was learned here. Could be the king of wands. Could be the king of pentacles. They could both have, could have both energy in there. Somebody's got somebody stressing out about somebody moving away from them. They're stressing out about the future happiness. The future of what could be. I don't feel like this person is going to be able to hold back much longer. Uh, I don't know y'all. I'm 
that's like, I don't think this person going to be able to hold back much longer because it's, it's boiling. The eight of wands keep coming. And for some of y'all who are not relocating and traveling and moving, this person is, they will not be able to restrain themselves from holding back from you because they don't know who else is moving towards you. This could be you, Leo, masculine. You don't know who else is moving towards this person, so you can't afford to wait. Then you feel like that's your happiness. You got to rush on in here with your pentacle to find a balance to fix this so nobody snatches up your prize. This is how the masculine energy around this energy sees it. They feel like the person that they couldn't see at first or that they see now is a, a, a great person, a wonderful person. And anybody would love to have this empress. And they fumbled the ball, fumbled the empress by getting played by somebody else. So now they're trying to get back and take the risk. Now, if they wasn't ever afraid and letting fear control their choices and their decisions and they trusted in the process, then they wouldn't be here. So, but now the situation's a little sticky. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got a whole new perspective on what a Ten of Cups looks like. That's what that's about. Because from a, their perspective has changed because they're no longer hurt. They've been healing. And now that they've been healing, they see what happiness is about. And they see what a motherfucker who want to hold on to them pentacallies is about. So, I think a person had their shit twisted. Oh, uh, yep. And they about you about to stay about to get straightened out. That's what the meditation said. Somebody got it twisted. But I think somebody made their decision was twisted or um, they picked the wrong person. The person that they picked and trusted was the one trying to betray them. And the one that they didn't trust was the one that was really trying to care for them. It's something like that. But as a result of that, a motherfucker disappeared on them, right? So they're dealing with the disappearing act. Now they're trying to hunt this person down, find this person, see where they at. Because they realize, damn, anybody would love to have a person like that now that my perspective is clear. Right? So it was a misjudgment because of a hurt. Because of the five of cups. Because of somebody's staying in disappointment. So they couldn't see clearly what a good thing was. And now they good thing then put their foot down and said, you just not capable of loving me no more. And now the person's like, oh shit, now I understand. But they got to find the person. They got to locate them. Track them down. Some shit like that. Get in touch with them. Something like that. It's something that's the, the, the distant horizons in the reverse. This person's experiencing some type of blockage when it comes to communicating. So. And it could be just them. Could be that they, they just need to have I heard thirst or throat chakra. Somebody could just need to speak the fuck up and they just ain't. Because see, they're going to sit there and let their person get away to somebody else. Or they're going to man up or woman up. But that's up to the person. So, that's what I got for you, Leo people. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.